So I feel as if I'm arguing against a great tide of Hollywood scripts, but I, I just have to repeat that this question of whether the technology that might destroy the planet would be alive or conscious or intelligent is actually irrelevant. The only thing, but such a technology could exist. Building a Skynet, as shown in the Terminator movies, wouldn't take a lot of code, honestly. At this point, like you know, I I, I think we could do it in a, a week workshop or something. We, you know, you'd. I, I, it's not that hard to see how you'd make a self-replicating drone at this point. I think we can print them. We can put guns on them. I mean, like honestly, don't do it. You know, but that, but the thing is that's the point. Like the, the distinction between some smart machine that hurts you and some mi malfunctioning machine that you can't operate that hurts you is a nil distinction. They're just both badly engineered. As long as we are beholden to this mythology of the evil machine, we will not be able to see clear to design well-functioning machines that we take responsibility for and use well. And I don't know how to shake you from this hypnosis. You've seen these movies and you keep on going back into these thought patterns. I, please, please consider that this isn't a real thing. Please consider that the difference between one machine that, that works terribly and another machine that works terribly is not important. They just both work terribly. And the important difference is between those and a machine that works well. That's what you should focus on. Can't you see that? I mean, I, yeah, and, I, uh, and, and I love these Hollywood movies. I love them. They're great. But don't live in them. Just in the end, Jared, I think you're right. I mean, it doesn't make any difference morally if a human being in the civil human civilization or a robot does. It's both, both either equal catastrophe.